Hi there, my name is David Marks. I'm the CEO of Outcome Ingenuity. I'm here to talk about root cause analysis. It's the second part of a three-part series about how do we produce better, more reliable outcomes. Root cause analysis is that process that we all pull out to use when things don't go as planned. We start looking for what wasn't normal, what, what didn't happen as it normally happens. In the first of this series, I talked about a 19-year-old college student in Connecticut who lost her life by a very tragic event last October. She had been out partying during that night and had on her way back to her uh, sorority house, had propped herself up in front of a firehouse, actually on the door like this. At 1.15 in the morning as she was there asleep, um, that door opened up and a fire truck left and ultimately ran over her and killed her, took her life. It's a very tragic event. Now the root cause analysis headed in a bunch of different directions. It went to the fraternity that was providing the alcohol to a 19-year-old underage drinker. It went to two pranksters in a dorm who decided to steal a fire extinguisher, play with it, to the point where their play ultimately uh, needed uh, the fire department to be called. There, the investigation went to the firehouse itself. What was their process for making sure the area in front of the door was clear before the fire truck left? Root cause analysis goes in a, in a myriad of directions. The issue is, is how do we learn to do it well? If you read the reports of the 19-year-old in Connecticut, the place that they focused, they ultimately said that this was an accident, but that the primary cause or the cause of it was the false alarm. You know, the, that might place the blame on the two pranksters, but it doesn't really fix it, right? Because it could have been a standard alarm. It could have been a guy like me who ate too many hamburgers who had a heart attack. It could have been a real alarm. Either way, false alarm or real alarm, the 19-year-old would have been run over. The issue is, is how do we truly learn from events that actually helps us prevent them in the future? It's difficult to do a root cause analysis because each one of us carries with us biases. We carry a, a life history that dictates where we take our investigation. There's a science to doing root cause analysis. There's a science to pushing that investigation to the human errors, to the at-risk behaviors, to the system design elements, to the culture. There is a way to do RCA that gets us productive results and ultimately a way to combine RCAs into a body of knowledge that tells us what can we fix to reduce the likelihood of undesirable outcomes. That's what root cause analysis is about. How do we get to why errors occur? How do we get to why human beings make the choices they make? How do we get to was the system designed to be as robust as we want it to be? Root cause analysis is a skill to be learned. And it's a skill we teach in our root cause analysis training. It's a skill that we teach how to build cause and effect diagrams, how to extend the search of our investigation, how to build productive results that help us prevent future events. That's the goal of RCA and that's the goal of our course.